Greetings. Today, Cam and I, we're gonna get a quick shoulder and bicep pump, and then we're gonna do a walkthrough of the machines at my gym. There's a pretty good chance you have the same machines at your gym. We're just gonna be going through the machines today, though, because honestly, the other stuff is just like a whole other beast. I think. For most people, the machines are relatively self-explanatory, but sometimes it's nice just to get like a visual example because the instructions on the side are usually either torn off or written instructions. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Let's go. Here we go. Seriously? Man, makes me wonder what else I don't know. Do you know you're supposed to work out your lower body too? Bruh. So first things first with the leg press, you gotta make sure the back is situated. I usually like to be not leaning back super far, kind of more straight. I've seen maybe like five different leg press brands. This one is probably my least favorite because it hurts my lower back, but this gym has one of these to support your lower back. So there you go, protected. Next, you get in there. Different leg positioning will target different parts of the leg. More up like this is gonna be more like this. More like this is gonna, <laughs> lower like that is gonna be more quads. And there's like subtleties in if your feet are straight or not, but we're not really gonna focus on that. So you push up. Don't ever straighten your legs out all the way, okay? You'll scare everybody in the gym and you'll probably hurt yourself. <laughs> okay. And then I like to kind of brace, so breathe in, hold all the way down. Full range of motion if possible. Not everybody can get there right away. Push up. So yeah, that's the leg press. Let's move right along. Once again, this angling, I like to have it that it's kind of like flat. So it's not pointed that way so that my toes aren't like pointed that way. I don't know if I can explain that correctly. <laughs> you can do it just like this with your back flat. Personally, done it in a couple other videos. Thank you, Cam. I like to use a foam roller up behind your shoulders, changes the angle so that it's more focused on your legs, really, and takes some pressure off of your lower back. So it's more on like your quads, hamstrings, glutes. See the angle? The angle. Yeah, there we go. And now, all in the quads. That is the hack squat. So this is the hip thrust or glute bridge machine. This is only one uh, brand. There's some other brands that are also popular where you clip it. And a lot of people also just like to do it with a barbell, which is also fine. It's kind of easier to move in more natural movement. But if you do want to use this, very important, don't go like this. You're gonna really hurt your back. Make sure your back straight, chin tucked, hinging at the hips. If you go all the way down, that's a hip thrust. And that's gonna be a lot more like leg action. If you just go a little bit down, smaller range of motion, it's a cast glute bridge, and that's just the glutes, that's it. Hamstring curl in the lengthened position. Laying hamstring curl is going to work your hamstring in the lengthened position. If you do the seated one that's like this, but they don't have it this gym, it's in the shortened position. So it's important to work both if you can. If you can't, what are you gonna do? You know, I don't have that option here. <laughs> Focusing, muscle mind connection, lifting with your hamstrings and not your lower back, because it's pretty easy to lift with your lower back on this machine, if I'm honest with you. Leg extensions, I actually do not like this brand of this leg extension at all, but it's the only one we have, so we're gonna work with it. Usually they have a lever on the side that you can adjust the back. I like to do it where my knees are coming off like a little bit, but not like this. That's ridiculous, don't do that. <laughs> Just like a little bit. If you want to pause a little bit at the top, that's actually really good for your knees. Just don't go too heavy. Don't mess yourself up. And make sure you go all the way down. Full range of motion. Otherwise, no bueno. This one's no bueno. This one, I'm confident. So this first one is going to be abductors. And the way I remember that is you think abduction, like how an alien abducts you, they're taking you away. So when you're putting your legs out like that, abducting them. Some people think this is a sus machine. Don't be like that. If you think it's sus, grow up. <laughs> okay. For the abductors, it was pretty popular a while ago to do it up like this and lean forward and people would think it was like a lot for their glutes, which really it's it's not for your glutes. But don't let that detour you from doing it because 
Your abductors are also very important. Keep doing them anyway, just don't expect it to go to your booty. We're adding the legs into the center of our body. Pretty self-explanatory. You don't really have to stretch like a full, but you should get like a decent stretch going. What was the problem? I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke back is broken. What, a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. <laughs> We're going over a lot of machines. I would just like to point out, it's unnecessary to do all of these. I don't think I've used this machine personally in like four years. With less of freedom of motion, yeah. there's less room to mess up and less room to have to think about if you're doing the proper form because you're probably gonna be pretty close, if not correct, when using the machine. Pronated, supinated. This is kind of like a uh, chin up. This is one of my personal favorites. Chin up motion. Focusing, you can you can think about squeezing your shoulder blades together. That's also another good cue. There's no weight on here. Okay, <laughs> I just realized. Shrugging, slow, and control. What's the cue for a shrug? For shrugs? Shoulders to ears, yeah. I don't really do shrugs personally. After many years of doing lateral raises, not super correctly, my traps are trapping and I find it unnecessary. But if you're an individual who wants to do shrugs or is programmed to do shrugs or you want beastly traps, fill out those t-shirts with your traps. This chest supported row, pretty popular, pretty much works like your whole upper back. Uh, there's a ton of different little hand things. Usually the one that I would use when I used to use this machine was just this one. You can go like this. And then you can do a bunch of different ones like that. Chest supported row. But a lot of options. I wouldn't worry too much. If I was you, I would just do this or this. The one in the center is probably my favorite too. Yeah, just the one in the center. Got to do this. What is that? That is the peck pop of love. Now go on and throw a berry. Oh, 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 oh. Stop. Okay, ready? This one's special. Incline, chest press, machine. So for this one, you think about lining it up roughly where your nipples would be if they were in normal, average place, <laughs> okay? If they're somewhere else, don't feel bad about that, okay? That's nothing to be ashamed of, but just, just try to think. All right, so the motion's gonna go up because it's inclined, don't be alarmed. That's natural. Just uh, try not to, uh, when you extend, don't strain your elbows all the way. Same with the leg press. So then your elbows are gonna whoop at, snap. The limits of the Smith are the limits of your imagination. Remember that. <laughs> if you uh, wanna put your legs further out in the front and get like a super quad focus, you can do that. Major quad action. Split squat. I think I'd probably more do like an RDL. And if you're too short, like me, a block. And this is uh, makes it kind of easier to push your hips back because you're not worried about falling, so. Very nice. Another one, I almost forgot about this one, but it is such a cheat code. You position this low for Bulgarians. Finding the proper foot positioning, sit back like that, put that leg out straight, bam, there you go, perfect. Perfect positioning. Perfect Bulgarian setup. If it hurts your ankle, because it would hurt my ankle, you can put pad or a yoga mat if you want. You can do Australian pull-ups, which are a progression for regular pull-ups that a lot of people forget about. This is an Australian pull-up. pretty sick. Yep. So, that's that. <laughs> we went through the machines. Some of those machines, you can also use them in a different way. I personally wouldn't recommend getting too crazy on the machines, but just use your own best discretion. Don't be too silly. It's okay to get a little bit silly though. The cables and the free weights, extremely useful, especially for progressing beyond the machines, but it's perfectly okay if you just wanna use machines, if that's like all you're comfortable with. That's what I started on. That's what a lot of people start on. Comment below if this was helpful and if you would like to see the free weight or cable information or anything else. So thank you for watching and adios.